So hello guys, for this video we will be discussing how to compute uh, limits at infinity. But recall mo na last time you talked about infinite limits, meaning yung instances na kung saan yung limit ng function mo as x approaches a specific number a is positive infinity or sometimes negative infinity. So ang ibig sabihin yan, graphically, is that as x dito sa una, as x approaches a specific number a, yung f of x mo, imbis na mag-approach <clears throat> mag approach ng isang number, it just increases indefinitely. Dito naman sa isa, uh, as x goes closer and closer to this number b, yung function mo, instead of approaching a specific value, just decreases indefinitely, hence approaching negative infinity. So for this video, tatanungin naman natin, Kailan kaya, or ano kaya yung mangyayari kapag this time yung x naman, no? Yung mag approach ng infinity or negative infinity, meaning yung x mo naman, yung palaki ng palaki or paliit ng paliit. Saan naman kaya pupunta uh, yung function value mo? So before we do that, let's have some observations first. So consider this function, 2x squared over x squared plus 1. This is a rational function. So let's see ano mangyayari sa x. Una, kapag pinalaki natin siya ng pinalaki and pangalawa kapag we let it decrease indefinitely. So una, let's try to make x as big as we want. So for example, mag-start tayo sa zero, no? If x equals zero, ano mangyayari sa f of x mo? Well, if you plug in zero here, you just get two times zero squared sa, baba, sa taas. Sa baba, you get zero squared plus one. So that zero over one, you just get uh, zero. Ayan. Kapag naman x equals 1, ano kaya mangyayari? Well, if you plug in 1 here, sa taas you get 2 times 1 squared, that is 2. Sa baba, if you plug in 1, that's 1 squared plus 1, that is 2. You get 2 over 2, that is 1. And then you can compute the rest, you can compute these values, and you will see that you will get these values. No, I'll leave that to you. But what can you observe is that as x grows bigger and bigger, yung f of x mo palaki ng palaki, right? But you can see that it gets closer and closer to 2. No? And even if you check bigger values, let's say 1 million or 100 million, you will see that lalaki lang si f of x, but it will just get closer and closer to 2. It's, you will just have more decimal places there. No? And sa kabila naman, if you try to... Uh, get smaller and smaller values for x. So if you check x equals 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1,000, ganun din yung makukuha mong value. No? The values getting bigger and bigger, but just getting closer and closer to 2. And in fact, if you try to graph this function, you will see its graph to be like this. So may kita mo na yung x mo palaki ng palaki, meaning... Pag lumalaki sa x, di ba, parang pakanan siya ng pakanan. So, habang pakanan ng pakanan yung graph mo, papalapit lang siya ng papalapit sa 2, but it never goes over 2. It never exceeds 2. And sa kabila, if you let your x get smaller and smaller, meaning palef ng palef sa iyong Cartesian plane, uh, hindi niya nilalampasan itong 2. It just gets closer and closer to 2. So, in this case, we say that the limit, of your function as x approaches positive infinity is 2. And similarly, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function we're talking about is 2. So yun, yun yung ibig sabihin uh, when x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity. Uh, however, syempre, hindi naman pwede na every time we want to know the limit of a function as x approaches infinity, Alangan naman gawin natin ng paulit-ulit yung kukuha tayo ng table of values, tas kukuha tayo ng bigger and bigger or maybe smaller and smaller values of x. So with this theorem, I will present to you, uh, we will be using this para we can algebraically compute and therefore hindi na tayo mahihirapan mag-compute ng limits at infinity. So tandaan lang natin, no? For any positive integer and for any whole number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no? Yung limit as x approaches positive infinity ng 1 over x to the n ay laging 0. Similarly, kapag negative infinity yung limit ng 1 over x to the n 
ay palaging 0. So whatever that n is, 1 over x man yan, 1 over x squared, 1 over x cubed, 1 over x to the uh, raised to 10, and so on, all of those, ang limit nila ay 0 as x approaches positive or negative infinity. So how will we use this? Well, uh, in solving limits at infinity, remember, what we need to do first is look at your denominator and then look for the biggest power of x appearing in your denominator. After that, divide both your numerator and denominator by that power of x. And you will see that maraming lalabas na ganitong form, therefore ang daming mag-zero out and you can compute your limit very easily. Okay? Try natin. Halimbawa, imagine, di ba, if we, if we try yung listing method, yung table of values in this function, it will be very tedious for us. So, thankfully, we have an algebraic way of solving your limits at infinity. So, buwan natin dito. Again, first step, sabi natin, look at your denominator and look for the biggest power of x appearing. In this case, it's x cubed. And then, now, we know that x cubed is the biggest power of x appearing in your denominator. We divide both your numerator and your denominator by x cubed. Ayan. Tapos, ano mapapansin mo? Well, itong numerator, what? You can try to separate it into three fractions. No? Itong 2x cubed over x cubed, itong minus x over x cubed, tsaka itong 5 over x cubed. Tama? Okay. Yung baba, ganun din. You can also separate it into two fractions. And then after that, you can see na some terms can be simplified. No? Pwede kang mag-cancel dun sa ilang terms. Halimbawa, dito sa una, 2x cubed over x cubed, you can cancel x cubed. You will be left with 2. Itong second, uh, negative x over x cubed, you can cancel x, matitira pong x squared sa baba, hence this. And then, itong 5 over x cubed, well, it's just 5 over x cubed, no? Sa baba, itong 4x cubed over x cubed, you can cancel x cubed. And then dito, it's just the same. Okay? And then, applying your limit properties way back, no? Alam nyo na yung limit nito, it's just limit ng taas over limit ng baba. Tapos yung limit na yan, pwede mo pa yung i-distribute. Diba? Yung limit ng sum ay sum ng limits. Ganun din sa difference. So, you have this. Tapos iisa-isahin lang natin yan and we're good. Itong una, ano mangyayari? Limit ng 2 as x goes to negative infinity. 2 is just a constant. no? So, ang limit niyan as x approaches anything is just itself. Itong 1 over x squared, ano mangyayari? Diyan na po papasok no, yung ating theorem. Sabi natin, 1 over x to the n, whatever that n is, ang limit niyan as x approaches infinity ay 0. So this part becomes 0. This part, 5 over, one, uh, 5 over x cubed is just 5 times 1 over x cubed. Eh, yung limit ng 1 over x cubed, it's 1 over x to the n, di ba? So, 0 din yun. So, kahit mag-multiply ako ng 5 dyan, 0 pa din yan. Okay? Itong ilalim, 4, limit ng 4 is just itself. It's a constant. Ito po, magiging 0 lang. And you have this. So, ang dami nag-zero out, nag out, no? Kaya, sobrang useful yung theorem natin kanina. Hence, you will be left with 2 over 4 or 1 half. And that is your answer. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Let's try another example. This time, itong function na to, kunin natin yung limit as x goes to positive infinity. So, biggest power of x appearing in your denominator is x. So, yun yung i-divide natin sa taas at sa baba. And then, uh, medyo shortcut tayo ng konti no? para... Uh, we, we can get used to solving faster. Yung taas, pwede mong i-separate into two fractions. Yung isa, 6x over x, that is 6. Yung isa, minus 1 over x. Okay. Tapos yung baba, minus 2x over x is negative 2. Tapos yung isa is just 5 over x. Tama? 
Ayan, medyo nag-skip na tayo ng counting steps, ha? And then you can now apply your limit or limit properties directly. So, itataas mo yan, dito sa baba, distribute. Pwede mo na lang tignan yung limit ng bawat isa dyan, no? That will be the same. So, halimbawa, itong 6. Pag kinuha mo yung limit niyan, it's just itself. It's a constant. Limit ng 1 over x is just 0. Limit ng negative 2 is just itself. Limit ng 5 over x is just 0. So you will be left with 6 over negative 2, which will be negative 3. Simple, simple. Okay, so far so good. Game, let's try this one. So limit as x approaches positive infinity of x minus 6 over 5x squared plus x minus 3. Okay, game. Smallest or biggest power of in the denominator of x is x squared. So we will divide above and below by x squared. Okay? Yung taas, pag sineperate into two fractions, x over x squared becomes 1 over x. Tapos yung isa minus 6 over x squared. Sa baba, 5x squared over x squared is just 5. x over x squared is 1 over x. And then minus 3 over x squared is this one. O ano, ano dyan yung magsisiro? Sige nga. Ito, 1, 2, 3, 4. This, 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 and this will become 0. Itong 5 will remain as itself. Limit niya ni sarili lang eh. Kasi sarili lang niya since constant lang siya. So therefore, you have 0 over 5. Your limit being 0. Okay, good. Now, let's try this one. So I have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 over 4x minus 2. I want its limit as x goes to minus infinity. Biggest power appearing in your denominator is x. So I will divide above and below by x. Ano mangyayari? Itong taas magiging 2x squared over x is 2x. Minus 3x over x here is just minus 3. And then 5 over x is, well, 5 over x. Sa baba, you get 4x over x, which is 4. And then minus 2 over x. Now, let's try to get the limit of each one of this as x goes to minus infinity. Ito sa 2x, as x goes to minus infinity, pag plinahuin mo si minus infinity, you'll get minus infinity. Tama? 2 times minus infinity, meaning something very, very small. If you multiply it with 2, it will still be something very, very small. Hence, minus infinity. Ito, 3. And then, this 5 over x just goes to 0. Yung baba, 4. This one goes to 0. Nakuha yun. Again, ito, minus infinity. Ito, constant lang. So, negative 3. Ito po, nagkuntang 0. Ito, 4 lang. Ito, 0. So, ano mangyayari? Well, itong taas, it's just minus infinity minus 3. So, something very, very small. Mag minus ka pa ng 3, it will still be something very, very small. Again, this is negative infinity. Tapos kahit mag-divide ako ng 4 dyan, it will be unaffected. It will still be negative infinity. Hence, your answer is negative infinity. Okay? okay? So now, before we proceed with more examples, let's have some observations. So, dun sa una, napansin mo na ang sagot is 1 half, tas dun sa pangalawa, negative 3. This first two examples, uh, what you can notice is that yung degree ng numerator at denominator pareho lang. Dito sa una, parehong x cubed. Sa pangalawa, parehong 1 yung degree na makikita mo sa x. So, ano nangyari? So, nung nag-divide ako ng x cube sa taas tsaka sa baba, yung iba nag-zero out, eto, natanggal si x cube, natanggal si x cube, ang natira, 2 tsaka 4. So, ang nangyari, parang pinag-divide ko lang yung leading coefficients ng highest power. etong 2 tsaka etong 4, kaya 1 half yung nakuha kong sagot. 
dito ganun din. Parang ang nakuha kong sagot, pinang parang pinag divide ko lang itong 6 tsaka itong negative 2. Para makuha yung limit mo. Kasi nga, syempre, ang dinivide mo lang sa taas tsaka sa baba ay x. So, itong 6 tsaka negative 2 na tira, yung iba, nag-zero out. Yung third example mo, eto, mas mataas yung degree nung baba kesa sa taas. Kaya nung nag-divide ako ng x squared sa taas tsaka sa baba, itong lahat sa taas nag-zero out. Kasi mas mataas yung degree ng baba eh. So, nung divide ako ng x squared, etong, kahit itong x naging 1 over x. Tapos ito sa baba, nag-zero out yung iba maliban sa 5 na natira sa, uh, as itself, no? As 5. So, ano nangyari? Yung nakuha kong limit naging 0. And lastly, dun sa itong pinaka-recent example natin, mas mataas yung degree nung taas kaysa sa baba, ito sa taas, x squared sa baba, x lang. So, nung nag-divide ako ng x sa taas, tsaka sa baba, itong lahat sa ilalim, ay itong iba, nag-zero out, itong 4x may natira, ito sa 3x na wala si x. Itong 2x squared, kahit nag-divide ako ng x, may natirang coefficient na si x. May natirang uh, x part. No? Naging may natirang 2x ka dito. So kahit pinasukan ko siya ng negative infinity, ang magiging sagot mo negative infinity. So this gives you an idea of what to expect when, as an answer when solving limits at infinity. So una, kapag yung degree ng numerator mo same sa degree ng denominator, you should expect your limit at infinity to be a real number na hindi zero. Tapos ang sagot mo yung quotient ng leading coefficient. Dito nga ganun yung nangyari, no? Quotient ng 2 at 4, ito 6 over negative 2. Kapag naman mas malaki yung degree nung taas, kasi, nung baba kasi sa taas, you should expect your answer to be zero. At kapag mas malaki yung degree sa taas, you should expect your answer to be infinity. Okay? Sige nga, try natin. Dito, halimbawa, mas mataas yung degree ng denominator. So, you, you should expect your answer to be zero. So, if you try to solve it, we divide by x to the fourth sa taas tsaka sa baba, since yun yung biggest power sa ilalim, you will be left with this, 1 over x, 8 over x squared, 7 tsaka 3 over x cubed, you will be left with 0, 0, 0, 7 ito. 0 over 7, you get 0. Tama nga. Punta tayo sa 6. Yung degree nung taas tsaka degree nung baba, pareho lang na 5. So you should expect your answer to be the quotient between your leading coefficients, which in this case is negative 3 over 7. And indeed, if you try to solve, uh, nag-divide ako sa taas tsaka sa baba ng x to the fifth kasi yun po yung highest power ng denominator, magiging ganto siya. Tama? Dito. Tsaka tinerecho ko na ng konti, no? If you divide x to the fifth here and x to the fifth here. Tapos, if you let x go to infinity, this, this, and this will become zero. You will, be, you will get negative 3 over 7. Tama nga. Okay? Good. Let's try this one. Degree ng taas, x cubed. Sa baba, x. Mas malaki yung taas. Therefore, you should expect the limit at infinity to be some infinity. And solving for that, so syempre, ang i-divide natin sa taas tsaka sa baba ay x dahil yun yung biggest power sa ilalim. Doing so, yung taas magiging 4x squared minus 1. Yung ilalim magiging 1 over x. So, labat na ako. <laughs> Teka lang. Ayaw ko na! Tumigil ka na! Ayaw ko na! Ayaw ko na! Ayaw ko na! Okay. So, uh, where was I? Okay, so, Ayun yung natira nung nag-divide ako ng x sa taas at sa baba. So, if you let x go to minus infinity, itong 4x squared, uh, well, negative infinity yan. So, pag in-square ko yan, it will be something very, very large. So, it will become positive infinity 
Tapos pwede nang multiply ako ng 4, it's still positive infinity. Ito constant, so minus 1. Ito 1 plus ito 0 as x goes to infinity. So something very, very large, if I subtract 1, it will not be affected. It will still be something very, very large. Tapos kahit mag-over 1 ako dyan, sagot mo, positive infinity. Tama nga yung ating prediction. Okay? Now, let's try this one. Limit as x goes to positive infinity ng x over square root of x squared plus 1. Highest power in your denominator is x squared, but it's inside a square root. So, you consider it to be square root of x squared or we know it to be equal to absolute value of x. So, game. So, yun yung i-divide natin sa taas at sa baba. Itong square root of x squared, pag dinivide natin sa x, since yung x wala naman siya sa loob ng radical, oh, uh, we can just, instead of using square root of x squared, we can just use absolute value of x. Tapos ito, sa baba, since nasa radical itong square root of x squared plus 1, pag dinivide mo ng square root of x squared, pwede mo silang pagsamahin sa loob ng square root. Tama? Okay. Now, absolute value of x can either be x or negative x. Diba? Ang absolute value ng isang number, pwede yung sarili niya, pwede yung negative niya. Halimbawa, absolute value ng 4 ay 4. Absolute value ng negative 4 ay 4, which is yung negative niya, yung negative ng negative 4. Tama? So how do we know which one? How do we know if this is x or negative x? Take note that we are getting the limit as x goes to positive infinity. So as x goes bigger and bigger, yung absolute value ng x mo, yung x sa loob, malamang, palaki yan ng palaki. So yung absolute value niyan is itself. Tama? Kasi positive, uh, palaki ng palaki, so this goes to big positive values. So we have x, which was x here in replacement of absolute value of x. Itong ilalim, well, uh, sinimplify natin yung nasa loob ng square root. So, x squared over x squared is 1, and then 1 over x squared remains the same. Okay? We can now get the limit. Itong x over x, it's just 1. Tama? Magkakansel lang yan. So, pag kinuha ko yung limit niyan, 1. Ito sa baba, 1 plus, pag kinuha mo tong 1 over x squared, limit niya as x goes to infinity 0. So, your answer is 1. Sundan. Okay. Now, let's try the same given, but instead, papuntahin naman natin si x ng negative infinity. Ano pong mangyayari? Well, ganun pa din, highest power is square root ng x squared. So, yun pa rin yung imumultiply natin sa taas at sa baba. Dito sa x, ang gagamitin natin is absolute value of x instead. But this time, since x goes to negative infinity, it, go, uh, it becomes smaller and smaller. So, it approaches big or very small values or big negative numbers. No? So, yung absolute value niyan will be its negative. So, we take negative x instead. Tapos, itong sa ilalim, sa loob ng square root, you can just simplify it inside. You still get this. So, ito po, negative 1 lang. Ito, 1. Pag ginawa ko yung limit, 1 pa din. Ito, pag ginawa ko yung limit, 0. So, I get negative 1. Negative 1 over square root ng 1 plus 0. Negative 1. Okay? Good. Now, let's try this one. Hmm. Looks more complicated. So, ano po yung highest power sa denominator? Again, that's, the, that's always the first step, no? Partial points din yan. <laughs> so, highest power in your denominator is square root of x to the 6 or absolute value of x cubed. So, this could be either x cubed or negative x cubed. Dito pa lang, nag-decide na tayo negative x cubed yan. Kasi x goes to 
negative infinity. If this goes to positive infinity, this will be positive x cubed instead. Okay, but in this case, we get negative x cubed. So, ito yung i-divide natin, no? Doon sa mga part na may radical, ang i-divide natin itong square root of x to the 6 para mapasok natin siya. Doon sa mga walang radical, ang i-divide natin itong absolute value of x cubed. Well, na, well, in this case, alam na natin to be negative x cubed. Gawin natin yun. So, pag nag-divide ako sa taas tsaka sa baba ng highest power, dito nag-divide ako ng negative x cubed. Tama. So, kaya itong three, negative 3x three cubed over negative x cubed naging positive 3. Sundan yun. Negative 3x cubed over negative x cubed. Yung negative magka-cancel magiging positive. Yung x cubed magka-cancel. You get 3. And then, yung positive 4, yung plus 4 mo, pag nag-divide ako ng negative x cubed, you get minus 4 over x cubed. So, sa baba ang dinivide ko, yung square root of x to the 6. So, pinasok ko dyan, dinivide ko isa-isa, naging ganito. Ito, over x to the 6, naging 4. Ito, naging 7 over x. Ito po, 1 over x to the 4. Ito po, minus 5 over x to the 6. X to the 6 po ang pinasok ko dito ha. Dinivide ko ito sa denominator. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Itong 4, x cube, 4 over x cubed, 7 over x, 1 over x to the 4, 5 over x to the 6. Lahat yan magzi-zero as x goes to minus infinity. Ang matitira lang, itong 3 sa taas. Sa baba, meron akong square root of 4, which is 2. So, I get 3 halves. Okay, good. Now, let's have this one. A different example. Okay, so we want to get the limit of this sum. We can solve them separately. Etong 3x, pag kinuha mo yung limit as x goes to infinity, pag yung x ginawa mong infinity, mag-multiply ka ng 3, it will still be positive infinity. Yung 1 over x squared, alam na alam natin yan, ulit-ulit na natin ginagawa. Oops! Sorry. This is 0. Okay? This is zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So therefore, ano mga yare? Pag pinagsama mo yan, you get your limit to be zero, to be positive infinity. I am so sorry. Again, pag pinagsama mo to. Tsaka ito, positive infinity plus zero, you get positive infinity. Yeah. Okay? Sensya na. Okay, good. Now, let's try this example instead. So, let's try this. etong una, kapag kinuha mo yung limit as x goes to minus infinity, a plus infinity rather. It's just a uh, positive infinity pag in square mo something very big pa din. Pag nag plus 1 ka, ganun pa din. Kahit square root mo yan, it will still be something very large. Tapos itong, itong x pag kinuham, pag as x goes to infinity, malamang it goes to infinity. So you got minus infinity or infinity minus infinity. This is indeterminate. Hindi po yan zero ha. Infinity minus infinity is not zero. Uh, because some infinities are bigger than others. So, in this case, you don't know uh, if which, which of this infinity is bigger. So, hindi mo talaga masasabi kung ano yung value niya. Okay? So, it's indeterminate. But, we can do something to compute the limit. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin pwede compute yung limit outright. So we have to do some acrobatics. In this case, what we can do is, oh my God, how do I remove these annotations? Uh, erase. No eraser. Eh, ayan. Sorry, daw maruno. Ayan. Wala na siya. Okay. So anong acrobatics yung gagawin natin? What you can do is multiply this by its conjugate, meaning 
siya din, pero imbis na minus, you get plus. Okay? So, mumultiply tayo above and below by square root of x squared plus 1 plus x. Kailangan meron din sa baba, no? Para hindi magbago yung value ng function mo. So, pagsamahin ka to sa taas, eto, mapokopya lang siya sa baba. And then, recall, no? A minus B times A plus B is just A squared minus B squared. So, ano lang yung magiging product sa taas? Well, eto po, pag binag-multiply ko, this is my A squared. So, magiging X squared plus 1 lang yan. Tapos, etong second terms, no, magiging minus X squared. Siya yung minus B squared ba dito. Yung ilalim, I'll just copy it. Etong X squared magka-cancel. I have 1 over this denominator. And then, this form is very familiar na to us. We can do what we've been doing kanina pa. In this case, we can multiply, divide above and below by square root of x squared, which is the biggest power of x appearing. So, square root of x squared is absolute value of x, but since x goes to infinity, we take it to be x. Okay? So, sa ilalim, dito sa part na may radical, ang dinivide ko, square root of x squared. Kaya po, masok siya dyan. Dito sa part na x, ang dinivide ko po ay x or yung absolute value of x natin kaya 1. Okay? So as x goes to infinity, this part goes to 0, this part goes to 0, so you get 0 over square root of 1 plus 1, you get 0. Okay? So we will we were still able to get a limit even though nung simula ang nakuha natin is something indeterminate. Okay? So that's it for uh, limits at infinity. And this is actually the last topic for computing limits. So for next topic, we will be discussing one of the applications of limit, which is uh, continuity. So that's all.